Hi, welcome back. So I thought rather than have uh, five videos of me talking, which I know you absolutely love as much as I do, um, I'd, I'd film some of what I'm doing. So the metals are aging, of course, and I've just shown you that. There's not really that much I need to do for them except um, a bit of fine sanding and polishing once they're done. But um, I've got my non-abrasive, non-toxic, um, soapy liquid here and I've got some 600 grit sandpaper and I'm just going into it in lines with the grain this is a spruce top violin base I'm following the grain and I'm just wearing in to the nitro I'm getting some of the edges as well and just rubbing over the edges rounding everything over giving it that worn in feel no sharp edges at all but i'm always following the grain so that when we come to do buffing and stuff like that yeah there'll be some sanding marks but they'll all be in lines it'll be very hard to tell what's a sanding mark and what's an intentional scratch and what's years of play wear or not so i'll show you how to fade all that into itself um the way that this is looking now, if you go for a bit of a reveal, just get um, a nice soft mm, kind of meshy cloth, clean some of that back. That's now a mixture of soap suds and um, lacquer particles. And you can see, I just clean the other side as well so you can see what it's like compared to the other side. This is the sanded back side. Satin. This is the non-sanded back side. Gloss. You can see the light there, how it looks in the reflection. Much more muted on this side. Um, much more sharp and pronounced on that side. Now. Like on a on a guess, guitar, there's like two ways that it can look, in my opinion, which is very shiny and new, um, and that high gloss look, which I just think, for me, sometimes looks a bit cheap. It really depends how it how it is, but it reminds me of those like '80s poly finishes when they're like really really thick, last forever, shiny forever, and they just look like I don't know like Lamborghini sports cars. It doesn't really appeal to me that much because I like the natural. Um, historic vintage like an old violin I like that look the most um, feel the most um, so that's what we're going for here um, and you can see I think in, on the camera how the lines of the it's really hard to show The lines of the spruce, the wood, uh, are really pronounced now. They weren't before, and that's because I've taken a layer of the lacquer, taken a layer of the lacquer off. I'm going to take more of it off so that we get to that almost that woody feeling. It's not only going to have that look and appearance of an old guitar; it's going to have that sound of an old guitar as well. Because one of the things about nitrocellulose is that as it ages. Uh, hardens and so is worn away it gets much thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner it gets you know really compressed it gets really worn away um, and you're just left with so much more vibration coming from the wood um, that's what I've learned and it's true the thinner the finish on the guitar the more it sounds like an instrument um, the less it sounds like something that you're very far away from being able to control as a as a piece of material if that makes sense i just find that those um those really thick finishes just ruin the experience of being close to music um ruins the feeling of, of, of uh, you know that tangible kind of atmosphere that's in music you give me something something covered in really thick plastic i just feel like now what do i do where do i go you know like that's just me, um, but but relicking is is one of those things where it can just take all of that back, bring back some more vibration, bring back some more um, closeness 
to the feel and the atmosphere which is inspirational uh, musically um, and also just tones the, the tone of the wood is improved so um, bear with me we're going to do more of that sanding we're going to carry on with 600 for maybe another 10-15 minutes we're going to try and get as much of the guitar um, in that time it's probably going to be more like half an hour let's face it um, no one really wants to admit that they're going to spend a lot of time sanding because it's one of the most tedious things in the world but it has to be done um, and after we've done that we are going to move up the grades to 1500 and then to 2000 and then we're going to do some hand buffing but before we do that before we even get to the 1500 really we're going to do some scratching and some um, dremel work so I'll see you then